So the first thing I want you guys to understand on this problem is when looking at this, what you guys can see is y squared equals the 4x, y squared equals 4x, right? So what we know, obviously, in previous ideas, and we already know looking at your graph, the graph is going to open up horizontally, correct? In previous year, or in previous learning about quadratics, when x was squared, when did, what did the graph do? Graph opened what? Up or down, right? Graph opened up or down. So what I want you guys to understand is when we see y squared, we know the graph opens uh, left to right. That's important. Because if I'm asking you to sketch the equation of the graph, you need to know how the graph opens up or down or left or right. Now, the next thing is, let's put this in that format. Do you notice how there's no values for h and k? So if there's no values for h and k, that means those values must be 0, right? So we could write this as y minus k squared equals 4 times x minus 0. Please remember, guys, that h always goes with x, y, or k always goes with y. Always. h is going to go with x, k is going to go with y. So we know the graph crosses at 0, 0, the origin, and it has to open left to right. Now, we already know the answers because we already graphed this. But let's pretend you're doing a problem where you don't know what the answer is. What we're going to do is we need to find the vertex. I'm sorry, we already found the vertex. We're going to plot the vertex. We're going to write a little v so we know, hey, that's the vertex. Because guess what people do? People confuse the vertex and the focus all the time. So if you want a helpful tip, when you graph the vertex, just put a little v so you remember, OK, that's the vertex of the parabola. Now, I don't, mem I don't have these memorized. I don't memorize these. But the only way I find the focus in the vertex is I know that 4p is equal to this coefficient, which is 4 in this case. And all I want to do is find the value of p. So if I divide by 4, p is equal to 1. You guys agree with me? Now, look at your graphs again. Where is the focus in relationship to the parabola, into the vertex, I'm sorry. The parabola opens up towards the focus or away from the focus? Towards the focus, right? So think about it, guys. If p, if p is positive 1, what that means is we're going to go over to the right. Just like going to the right is positive, yes, going to the left would be negative. So I'm just going to go 1 to the right. I'm going to say that's my focus. So actually, let me write this stuff down. Vertex is 0, 0. Focus is 1, 0. And then last but not least is my directrix. And again, the most important thing on the directrix, guys, is your directrix a point? No, it's a line, right? And it's not on your graphing calculator. So your graphing calculator is not going to help you. But do you guys notice how your directrix is kind of like perpendicular to your line of symmetry? Yes? Here's your line of symmetry of your parabola. Your directrix is kind of perpendicular. So, and also, also, oh, your vertex is halfway between your focus and your directrix. So if I'm going one distance p to get to my focus, that means I need to go p in the opposite direction, hence why it's h opposite of p. So we go in our opposite direction to give us the directrix. That's a vertical line. It's not a point. So x equals negative 1. 